I heard pop. And then I heard Aah! The next sounds were car tires screeching. That is what this woman, who does not want her name revealed for the story, says happened one night recently in East Oakland. Here at this intersection, 98th and Lawler, she says she found two dogs lying in the street. It was disgusting. There was blood all over 98th. You saw a little defenseless dog about yay big with blood pouring out of its neck. She then called 911 and the dogs were rushed here to the Oakland Animal Shelter. It turns out both dogs were shot in the neck. You know, to be able to shoot the dog under the chin is not like, um, you know, shooting the dog from a distance. Definitely you have to be up close to be able to do that. The director of the Oakland Animal Shelter, Adam Periscandola, says the dog that died looked just like this miniature pincher. And miraculously, this mixed breed dog survived the gunshot wound, but was also severely beaten. Along his back, his pelvis bone, pelvic bone is actually um, broken in half. In fact, Adam told me both dogs suffered almost the exact same injuries. Adam says he's seen a lot of abused animals in his 13 year career, but nothing like this. But to have this sort of, again, deliberate, um, you know, torture, really, and torment and shooting of, of two dogs is, is very, very extreme and, um, and it's not something you see every day. And, Adam says, it is a felony and hopes a $1,000 reward for information on who is responsible may prompt someone to come forward. Because Adam believes whoever did this is extremely dangerous. An extraordinary amount of violence um, was, was needed to inflict these injuries and, and really makes us concerned about the, the sort of person that would um, engage in this kind of violent activity. Adam says this dog will have to undergo an expensive operation to repair the damage done to its body. However, he believes the dog will live. Reporting from Oakland, this is Hazik Medyun, Cron 4 News.